The Dallas City Hall was a great place, but the front of the plaza was looking a little barren. So the city of Dallas commissioned Henry Mord to create a sculpture for it, and that's exactly what he did in 1978 with the Dallas piece. So Henry Mord started this sculpture in 1976, and he finished it in 1978. Recommended to Dallas City Hall in 1976 by I.M. Pei, and then built by Henry Moore, this would be the third time that I.M. Pei and Henry Moore would collaborate on a project together. Henry Moore's sculpture weighs 27,000 pounds, is 16 feet tall, 24 feet wide, and is made of bronze. Moore felt the piece needed to be massive in size to complement Dallas City Hall's structure and the plaza's wide area. Moore designed this piece to be organic and curved such that it contrasted with Dallas City Hall's geometric structure. According to Moore, understanding his art should come with experience. So we positioned the pieces in a triangle to get viewers to walk into it and experience it. Henry Moore's style is abstract art and sculpture. Henry Moore was one of the most important British sculptors of the 20th century. He was also one of the most popular and internationally celebrated sculptors of the post-war era. Henry Moore was involved in the movements of constructivism, surrealism, and vorticism. Henry Moore was strongly influenced by artists like Michelangelo and Giovanni Pisano, and in 1930, Moore's most creative period where he was influenced by surrealism and other natural forms such as nature, he believed that the artwork needed to have a vitality of its own, that it needed to be independent to gain the viewers that it did. Things like Mother Nature and even the forms of vertebrae inspired Henry Moore to create the beautiful sculptures that he did.